It's been a stellar week for Wall Street. The major stock averages hit new record highs, and we also got some indication of when we might be seeing some policy changes from the Trump administration. Joining me now is Timothy Anderson of TJM Investments. Hi, Tim. Thanks for joining me. Oh, it's great to be with you. Well, as we all know, we saw new record highs for the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P 500. But given current elevated levels, we've been hearing words such as frothy, toppy, and when is the next correction coming? So given what we've seen in terms of earnings, what do you have to say in terms of valuation as well as record highs? Well, let's talk about valuation first, because we're... We uh, have had a very strong move in the market, but valuations are still, they're not cheap, but they're certainly not uh, frighteningly expensive or anywhere near what you would consider to be a bubble territory. On, on a trailing basis of the last four quarters, uh, the uh, multiple for the S&P 500 is between 20 and 21. But if you were to then look at forward earnings on what people would expect uh, S&P earnings to be for 2017, maybe about uh, 133, 135, we're at about 17 and a half to 18. So th that is not really, it's not really frighteningly expensive. And the technical foundation of the move in the market is very solid. We could definitely get a pullback at any point in time. And sometimes pullbacks are healthy. I think it would, draw, it would attract a lot of buying. Um, we're, but we're not really in a topping out process. When we're looking at these record levels, you can't help but step back and take a look at other uh, market rallies as well as corrections we've seen in the past. Now right. this week there was focus on the Fed Reserve minutes and sure. given the less hawkish nature of what we saw in those minutes, so market expectations for a March rate hike have eased. But given what we've seen historically, if you had to put an adjective to what we're seeing in the current markets, what would you say? You know, there's actually, um, I think there's quite a dichotomy between the way the Fed is talking and there may even be some conflict within, the, within Fed members as to when a hike might come because Fed fund futures are, I have a, uh, expectations of maybe a hike at uh, only being around 25 or 30 percent but some very very savvy fed watchers think that there's a 50 to 60 percent chance that they will hike in march uh but they need to i think guide against them uh, uh, against talking uh hawkish mm -hmm. And speaking of politics, of course, we're all focused on any commentary coming out from the Trump administration. Now, this market rally, as well as investor expectations, have been based on tax reform as well as deregulation yeah. um, and expectations of something new on the health care front. But we had U.S. Treasury Secretary uh, Mnuchin say that he expects to have some sort of plan in effect before uh, the August uh, Congress recess. Right, a, now, a tax, a, a formal tax reform plan. Yes. And it's, and it's complicated mm -hmm. and it gets very involved because I think that procedurally the way that has to work is they, they really have to uh, have a repeal and replace Obamacare plan sure. before Mm -hmm. they have a formal tax reform plan because so much of the Obamacare repeal and replace details are baked in to the tax calculations. Mm -hmm. So how do you think that'll play out? I think they have, I, I think they have two separate tax proposals um, that they're um, kind of working on mm -hmm. right now. One with an Obamacare repeal and replace and one without, and then maybe one for, for something in between. And do you think uh, a lot of people have factored in potential disappointments regarding any uh, policy plans? And if so, if you have at all considered the possibility of that, how have you factored that into your overall strategy? Look, this, is, this market's been an expectations market. Mm -hmm. The move in it has been what we used to call a multiple expansion rally. Clearly, there's ex expectations of um, some very good things happening. Uh, and if they were to get slowed down considerably or not happen at all, that would probably be a disappointment for the market sometime in the second quarter.